Let's talk about the API key scam. This scam can take your entire inventory within seconds. And it's really easy to get tricked by this scam because of how unknown it is. Which is why even the largest inventories get taken away even if they have two-factor authentication. So what is an API key? An API key is something that identifies a user and stores sensitive information relating to their account allowing you to basically do whatever you can normally do with your own Steam account. Normally, this would be used to make trade bots, so you wouldn't need to confirm every trade that was sent to you, but if someone random on the internet gets access to it, then you've basically given them access to your account. Now, sometimes when you're searching for something on Google, a top result will pop up as an ad result. People who pay Google to run ads can use this to their advantage and pose as other websites, with a very similar domain name. The victim clicks the website, logs into a fake Steam login, and with that, they can create a Steam Web API key attached to your account and control your trades. At that point, they can send you back to the legitimate site that they were impersonating. But now whenever you make a trade, they can cancel that trade and use a duplicate account to pose as the person you were trading to receive your items, and instead, give nothing in return. And if you use two-factor authenticator and you're not suspicious of your account being compromised, you'll probably be like any other semi-impatient Steam user and click the accept button thinking you were going through your normal routine. Though if you don't have any two-factor authentication method at all, you can kiss every single item you've ever had goodbye, as you've basically fell for a phishing scam already by logging into a fake website because as soon as they have your username and password, they can send everything within seconds. So if there's a lesson to be learned, it's to have two-factor authentication turned on. Now it's hard to tell if someone is on your account because they might not transfer every trade directly to their account. They have the ability to code a bot to send these trades, so they might as well code them to cancel and send trades when items over a certain value are being traded. So really, there could be one on your account right now if you haven't been careful in the past. That's why I'm leaving a link in the description down below that leads you to the Steam page of where Steam Web API keys are created. If you don't recall creating one in the past and you see an API key registered to your account, your account has likely been compromised, which leads me into my next subject. If you've been compromised, change your password first. This will log all other devices out of your account and generally is a good way to make sure you're the only one accessing your account. With that being done, whoever placed an API key on your account can't place it again or start messing with your account if they find out you know about their scam. After placing a new password, you can revoke the Steam Web API key that is on your account and you are safe. At least, if they got you by a fake login. This is a great opportunity to also tell everyone that Chrome extensions and third-party programs can sometimes track your keystrokes, and if you've been downloading some shady stuff, Usually viruses and rootkits like these will target banking information, but hey, just to be safe, you could always run an antivirus just to be safe. And the last tip I have to making sure your account is safe is Steam's two-factor authenticator. This at least gives you a chance to look at the trades that are going through. Passwords alone can be guessed very easily, so trust me when I say this is a must-have for your Steam account. Now the whole reason I actually decided to make this video was because of Bearded Expense and his recent experience with the API scam. There's a lot of people who don't know about the API scam and I feel like it should be a lot more common knowledge with how dangerous it is. Especially because of how the Steam site doesn't even warn you about with what people can access with the API key. But there's something that Bearded Expense said that also made me wonder. Marketplace.tf did not do this to me. Uh, it was people who got into them and compromised them and got my stuff. This is a false claim with no backing. At the same time, I ask you to respect the individual and don't go out of your way to witch hunt him for any reason. Everybody makes mistakes. But a few hours later of making his original video, he made a part 2 explaining how he was outplayed and fell for a fake marketplace.tf site. So. Basically, the Steam Web API key scam. But that did spark a question for me. What if Marketplace.tf got hacked at some point? So let's start off with the Steam login. The entire idea of signing into Steam before doing anything else not only provides a way for you to not make a separate username and password for any trade site you use, but makes it to where you don't even have to give the site your username and password directly, instead giving it a unique Steam ID that identifies your account. And 
An API key is no good if hackers don't have your login credentials. And as Marketplace.tf, if you're making a website where transactions occur, website security is probably one of the main priorities to focus on, which is why they don't ask you for your social security and encrypt all the information that is entered into the website. They explain a lot of what they collect and what they use it for inside of their privacy policy. And for hackers, they would have to interact with the software that Marketplace.tf uses to automate trades. And that in itself would prove difficult as you would have to locate from where the software is being ran, somehow access it even through all the security that it has protecting it, then alter the code to steal the TF2 items from the bots. And that's also likely done through Steam API because of how trading bots are integrated into the site. The Steam Web API key handles requests like trade offers through the Steam servers, so if you wanted to grab anyone's items off of hacking a website, you would be looking in the completely wrong direction to grab it from. So good luck trying to hack Valve if you want to interfere with trade offers. In reality, if Marketplace were to get hacked, the most valuable thing you could lose is your billing information. Marketplace.tf collects a lot of their information that they state in their privacy policy, and a lot of it is used to prevent credit card fraud. So in the end, the collection of all your info in this site does more good than bad because of how unlikely it is for the website to get hijacked. You can always get a new credit card number anyway, and track your payments if you already wanted to, but that's not really what this video is about, so... But yeah, not sponsored by the way, if Marketplace wants to hit me up or another trading site, I'm all up for that. And that's been it for this video. So if you liked the video and you learned something, then click like. And if you want to see more content based around TF2 and just whatever comes to my mind, subscribe because I'm going to keep making more of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.